Wouldn't this frame be absolutely perfect for a cross-stitch project? I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and on Quilt Show Weekend, Mom and I went thrifting together. Look at this baby. I don't know if that is a print or if it is a portrait. I'm thinking it's a print, but I have seen more of these lately, and some of them are unique, and if I'm not careful, I'm going to wind up collecting them. We really had a great time wandering the thrift shops. It's not often these days that I go thrifting with my mom. And it was fun to compare notes and share what we're both looking for. Ooh, milk glass. I have, since I brought out that dish of my grandma's bin, milk glass is on my radar and I am suddenly seeing it everywhere. Pyrex is always on my radar and that was a pretty one. I might regret not bringing that one home. More milk glass. look at the owl. I could also wind up collecting cookie jars if I'm not careful. At this point I only have one and it was great grandma's but if I had more shelves in my kitchen that would be an absolute possibility. Look at this is cross stitch and I did look it up after I got home. Ritter Kirk which I'm probably pronouncing wrong is in the Netherlands. I did not save any stitches on this trip, I don't think, because I've barely got room for my own stitches, guys. That frame, I think, is the same as the gold frames that I picked up a while back and someone's painted it white. I could be wrong, but it gave me the idea that I could paint mine white. Except I kind of love the gold vintage look, so maybe I can find more of them and paint those right white. They seem to be everywhere. One of these days I'm going to buy a barometer, and that one was... I like the shape of it, and I don't... I don't really even know how barometers work. I just know that I kind of want one to hang on my wall. Sometimes I don't worry too much about the log logic of these things. Wooden shoes, that's another thing that one of these days I'm going to find the pair of wooden shoes that I need to bring home with me. Again, I don't know why. I like those green plates and teacups. My daughter and I both picked up clear ones a couple of years ago at a thrift shop, but the green is pretty. And more milk glass. My grandma, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, had a hutch full of milk glass through most of my childhood, so something about it always conjures up memories. I like this owl, and it did come home with me. It's printed on kind of a clay tile with jaggedy edges, and I think it will be just perfect to put on our fireplace, because I'm still in pursuit of the perfect lamp. Mantlescape. I've got the fireplace. I don't have the organizational skills to quite pull it off. More wooden shoes there. And a box that you can pop the embroidered stuff out of there and put in your own needlework. But a womb song prenatal sound system so you can hear and be heard by your baby. And oh my gosh, with my first pregnancy, I totally totally would have been pulled in by something like that. It was only $4.99, and like I said, that would have come home with me. I'm still looking for exciting wedding decor to torture my daughter with pictures of. Someday I'm going to find one of these that's cheap enough that I'm going to bring it home to her, and she'll kill me. I like the bells. Those are fun. They didn't have clappers in them, though. I like this couple. She, he has a rifle and I think she has a bedpan. Not the kissing couple, the ones behind them. Another bell. This was a day for bells and milk glass and stitchery. That is the kind of cookie jar that the kids would love because it is creepy and somehow wrong. Grandma's kitchen, that reminds me of the canner's kitchen that I'm currently stitching on and I'm going to stop saying more milk glass. You can see it just as clearly as I can. This was a printed tile trivet, and I kind of, in hindsight, wish that I had brought that one home. I like the image, and 
I don't know exactly what you would do with it. Is it hang on a wall? I don't know what is going on in this needlepoint piece and maybe give me your theories. I think that this is maybe a person in a kitchen and she is sitting in front of a fire and the light is shadowing on the floor. I don't understand this one. We went to about three shops and when I was editing, it kind of got garbled together. So that's why it jumps like the Oregon plate. That one was pretty too. I was really good at not buying things. I could see us having a whole set of hot chili pepper serving dishes. We'd have fun with those. It's a baby cradle in the background there. And oh, look at the record player. I love old record players. I do not own a single record, I don't think. But I'm always tempted by the record players. These apples had thumbprints in them and were wonderfully rustic. Again, that would make great fireplace stuff, but I have so much stuff on my fireplace already, and that is probably 90% of my problem in not having an attractive mantelscape. Is that a sequined mannequin? I did not notice it in the store, but it's there in the video. Lots of rubber stamps, no real, not much stitching stuff, but I know that a bunch of the Pacific Northwest stitchers were in town for the quilt show, and I am sure they had already picked it over before I got there. So I will hope my friends found wonderful things. And I will try not to be jealous if in their videos they post wonderful things. Jealous in that happy for you sort of way, not in the mean way. Baskets, although not the type that I was hoping to find. And I like these chickens. They were made out of plates and canning rings and they were just adorable. Thank you so much for watching. I am Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle. And I will be back to see you with more videos soon. I always enjoy the thrift stores. And this was a fun day because we weren't in too much of a hurry and really got the time to look at almost everything there was to see. I think shopping with my mom versus shopping with the boys slowed me down a bit. And that was not a bad thing at all.